Alrighty, welcome to a three on three, and we've gotten BK in the mix. So it's me, BK, and Mac battling against Talisker, the Smasher, and Fearbina. That's uh, Anton. So we've got a nice three on three on our hands, and I, well, I've opened Minsk and Boo. The thing I don't like about this is I'm going to take Minsk and Boo. Anton takes Shieldred, and then Mac probably takes Thoughtseize, but I don't really know how it can avoid that. If I take Shieldred, and then I'm passing Minsk and Boo, Anton takes that, and then Mac still takes Thoughtseize, and now me and Mac are competing for black, and Anton's got the best card of the of the pack. So I'm going to take Minsk and Boo. A lot of black drafters here, because they're just going to go Shieldred, Thoughtseize, Fire Covenant, Remand, and maybe Blood Crypt, or something like that. We'll see what wheels here, but I am going to start with Minsk and Boo. Oh, I'm going to second pick a Broadside Bombardiers. <laughs> that card is great. So even if Talisker, or sorry, uh, Smasher opened power here, which could have been one of the cards you'd take over Bombardiers, open something really good. But I get a Bombardiers. Anton probably takes the Deep Cavern Bat or Currency Converter. Maybe Preordain, depending. And... Uh, well, we'll see from there. So let's see. So I take Bombardiers. I think Volcanic, Days, Deep Cavern, Converter, Preordain are all likely to go. Maybe a K Command over one of those. Maybe an Emrakul if someone's already gone that direction. You know what I'm looking for here? Noble Hierarch. Actually, Ignoble Hierarch even. Or Birds of Paradise. That would be an ideal situation because I've gotten two really good aggressive three and four drops. And uh, one's even green. Uh, well, there's Lightning Bolt. I'll be happy to take that. And passing no good black card. I do like seeing that. Still passing a Ponder. The first good white card we've seen in Luminarch. But I'll take Bolt here. And if Smasher's going to try to cut me on red maybe after passing the stuff, so be it. This start is just a very, very good one. Huh. This pack's kind of rough. There aren't any green or red cards besides a Brea's Apprentice. There's a Thieving Skydiver in here. There's an Unearth, which is actually really gross with Broadside Bombardiers, but what an awkward pack for me. Um, Like, I could take a Scrubland that's really far away from what I'm playing. I could take Toxic Deluge because it's good against me, and I could definitely be in red-black, maybe try to cut Anton after passing a bunch of black. I just don't really think any of these cards do much for me, so I'll take Deluge, which I also think will be good against me, and maybe I don't end up playing it. That's fine, too, but I just think Brea's Apprentice... It's just too weak of a card to take at this point. If Bray's Apprentice wheels, I'll be happy with that. It's a good card, but I don't want to take it here. Uh, this is tough because I really like Territorial Kavu, and taking a two-drop is exactly what I want, but I hate taking it when I have no lands. It just does not work. Best card in the pack is Dak Faden, which I could take. Um, there's a Bonehorde Dracosaur. It's also a pretty strong card. Don't really want Coalition Relic or Trinket Mage. Besaju is also pretty solid, and I have Minsk and Boo. I don't feel that bad about passing Dak is the thing. I think I'm going to take the Bonehorde Dracosaur and just kind of see where things go. Oh, there's a Seething Song, but there's also a Badlands. Badlands seems like it will be in high demand here. There's an Ooze too, but I haven't seen much good in the way of green. So if I just take Badlands, maybe I'm opening the door to playing black. I don't mind passing a Concealing Curtains and Seething Song. I can probably wheel. Relic of Sauron's also a pretty interesting card, but I don't think I'm there. I think I will just take the Badlands, and then I'll take the Fire Covenant here. Fire Covenant's an excellent card. <clears throat> it also means they're... So, Shieldred and Thoughtseize and Blood Crypt got taken in Remand. And then probably some, like, white card or something I'm not remembering. Lotus Cobra's good and all, but I think, especially after picking up Badlands, I'd rather just try to go Black-Red, because these cards all work in a Black-Red, like, mid-range shell as well, and stay out of green for the moment. Yeah, like, Cake Command, though I think I'm going to take Deep Cavern Bat... I just took two three mana spells. Kick Command is really good, but Bat's also great at setting these things up. Bloodthirsty Adversary would be a nice pickup, but I think K Command, Emrakul, Adversary, Outland Liberator, and maybe Sunbait Canyon go. But I'll be one of the black drafters at the table, despite there being many. But I think I just set the next couple people into black. So hopefully Mac can kind of see that and escape from it. There were enough black cards that maybe he doesn't do that quite easily, but that's all right. Maybe I take Lazav here. I could also take a red-white land, but that doesn't seem that interesting. Let's just take Lazav. Lazav's also a strong card, so I don't know that I'm that likely to play it. 
I like the idea of playing Fire Covenant a lot more than Deluge here. And, oh, Unearth came back. Unearth now with Deep Cavern Bats and Broadside Bombardiers actually looks pretty good. I don't think I need a Black-White Land. Sinkhole's actually not bad either, but this is a good start for Unearth. And then here, I could take Urborg, but I don't really have a strong reason to. It doesn't do anything with any of my cards. I think I'm going to take Besaidu just because Besaidu is a really strong card to have access to. And now, oh, wow, this is close. Blooming Marsh or Concealing Curtains. I could actually play all of these cards. Hmm... I think I'm going to take Curtains. It's so good to have creatures in play when you play Broadside Bombardiers. Like, imagine you play a Curtains on turn one, and then turn three, you don't flip it. You just go Bombardiers and fling it at something. And I think that would be pretty gassy. Oh, and then here, I guess I'll take Liliana. It is the strongest card. Blood Fountain's really nice with Bombardiers. And actually, this is kind of a Tarmogoyf deck, but I think Liliana is a strong enough card that I'll be happy to take it. Maybe I'll leave the Deluge in the sideboard for now. Oh, Bloodthirsty Adversary came back. Excellent news, because I already have three good spells. Adversary getting back Unearth and getting back Bombardier sounds disgusting. It's great with Lightning Bolt, and it's great with Fire Covenant. I mean, assuming you can cast two in the same game, but often that works out. All right. All right. This pack has Carnage Interpreter, Inti, Strip Mine, and Dark Confident. I kind of want all of these cards. Oh, this is tough. I think Carnage Interpreter might be the best card for me, but maybe Inti's even better. But I, I kind of feel like I should just take the Strip Mine. It's a colorless card that's really good. I'm not really comboing with it. So Smasher is probably playing blue. So if I take Strip Mine, there's just all red and black cards here. I think that's fine. I'm not going to get either of these back, I don't think, Inti or Carnage Interpreter, which is sad. But Bob or Shieldred's Edict should come back. One of those two. Someone takes Krasis, someone takes Virtue or Inspector. Yeah, I'll just take the Strip Mine here, even though, you know, it's not quite as uh, quite as powerful for my deck, probably, as Inti or Carnage Interpreter. Anton probably going to get a pretty solid card out of this pack. But we'll see what we got. Ooh, okay. Headliner Scarlet's pretty nice. Creatures can't block, and then every upkeep you flip, and you can play the card this turn. I think that card is pretty nice. I don't need Phyrokinesis that much with Fire Covenant, Bolt, and then uh, Toxic Deluge. I could also take City of Traitors, but... I mean, this is a good City of Traitors deck, but I don't really want to take it this early. Grist is strong too, but I'd rather not take a card after Splash. I'll just take Scarlet. I think the card's awesome. Caracas is very good. Mind Twist is all right. Memory Lapse is great. Troll is great. Do I think Smasher is playing white? Definitely could be. In which case, maybe taking Caracas is good. It's so good against Minsk and Boo. It's pretty annoying. Oh, it's also pretty good with Headliner Scarlet. They just can't block the whole time. That's pretty sick. Yeah. I, this is not really a Troll of Cause of Doom deck exactly. I mean, it'd be good in this deck. It would get Badlands. Obviously, that's fine. But I think I'm just going to take the Caracas as kind of like a colorless pick. And then here, maybe I take Bank Buster. It's an okay Bank Buster deck because I just have some removal. Sir Ginger is also kind of solid, but I feel like Bank Buster is a card I'd rather take at this point. Nurturing Peatland's okay, but I, I don't really like duels that are quite that bad. Oh, Luris, huh? Not really a Luris deck. I don't care about Liliana, but I don't want to ditch Bombardiers, Minsk, and Boo. That's just, like, too much. And I don't think just putting Luris in this deck is going to be that effective. I think I'd, at that point, I'd rather just take Robber of the Rich. Okay, this pack, unsurprisingly going less well, which is, is good for us overall because I think Anton is cutting my colors, but that just means in pack three... I'll be cutting him again, and, and hopefully I got him in packs one and three. I don't know. I mean, you never know how a draft is going to turn out. But that's kind of what I think is happening, so we'll, we'll see about that. All right, well, how far the wheels have fallen. Uh, I'm going to easily take Bayou here because Bayou lets me play Minsk and Boo in my deck, which is something I greatly want to do. It makes me wish I took the Troll of Kaza Doom a little bit. But um, I'll take Bayou here. Pass on a Wheel of Fortune, an Expressive Iteration, a Tamiyo. I'll leave those for the people who opened uh, busted, you know, busted Time Walks and, and Moxes and stuff like that. I'm just out here grinding out a, a, a living. Yep, Bob Wheeled, Children's Edict didn't, Carnage Interpreter didn't, Inti didn't. That's fine. We, we knew all these things would happen. Still, one of the rewards for being low-curve black-red, and this deck is, even though I do have a 5-drop and two 4-drops, is that you get to put Bob in your deck. And Bob's an excellent card if you can afford to play it. Sign of Draco... And Unruly Crisis are both cards that hopefully matter Mac or BK are into, because 
Our opponents don't seem to take the domain stuff very highly generally. All right. Looking pretty good going into the next pack. I would like a little bit more fixing. Pyrokinesis Wield, and it's going to be good against me, which kind of sucks, but I think City of Traitors, when you have Minsk and Boo, Bonehorde Dracosaur, Headliner Scarlet, even Bombardiers, like all of those cards use Minsk or City of Traitors really well. I think City of Traitors is just a really strong card. And, okay, there's a Dragon's Rage Channeler and a Shatter Skull Smashing. I don't, I don't mind either of them. I don't want Paradise Druid or Pick Your Poison. We're not, we're running black and red cards as our low curve stuff. I think Dragon's Rage Channeler, I have like a Planeswalker, I have an Artifact. It can fill up my graveyard for Unearth. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I just want cheap stuff to play, and the Channeler does a good job of that. This Deluge looks like mostly a defensive pick, though, because I'm not going to main deck it, though I might side it in against some decks. All right, so here I kind of have a decision. Do I want to hate Portal of Phyrexia? Do I want to take Sir Ginger as just a card, or do I want to take a Black Green Land? An okay land, but not the best. I kind of like Sir Ginger. Sir Ginger is nice as an artifact to put in the graveyard for Dragon's Rage. Kind of a nice, efficient beater. If I get some baubles, it'll be good. I it'll use a City of Traders mana well, I guess. Hmm, am I passing Athalia? Am I going to play this Royal Warden? I, also, is BK gonna, the, the person with Thalia? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to hate Athalia here. And these cards all seem kind of whatever. Um... Honestly, I see BK playing a lot of these more than the Smasher, given that the way those two draft. I guess I'll just take the Regrowth, leave a Tamiyo, and then here, I can't see myself playing the any of the Domain cards, so I'll just take the Raven Inspector, and then here, I guess I'll take an Akal Pakal, I don't know. Oh, last pick, Shatter Skull Smashing, okay. Well, I'll take that. All right, this is this is feeling like a Mana Crypt deck. Let's see if uh, this the packs agree. No. But I did open a Counterspell and a Tinker. It's okay. I'll take a Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual into some of these cards is pretty good. There's nothing else to take. This is just a bad pack. I don't think hating a blue card is that great. I mean, I got past a last pick, a Call per Call. I don't think uh, Anton's going to be putting Tinker in his deck. And I don't really want to first pick a Gemstone Mine, so I guess Dark Ritual it is. Followed up with a Magda, I suppose. Wow. Disappointing packs, to be sure. But I'll take a Magda here. There's a Breach... Gorio's Vengeance, Collective Brutality, Subtlety. These are all good cards. Kappa Cannoneer, but not so much for me. Whoa. All right. Caves of Chaos Adventure. Pretty good pack. There's still Mana Leak and Fiery Confluence and Moloch. But I'm slamming Caves of Chaos Adventure, which makes my City of Traders and Dark Ritual quite a bit better. So that's pretty nice. All right. Picked up a nice gift after our first couple packs going kind of bad. Mox Diamond would be nice. It's a shame that I opened Carnage Interpreter and Inti in that same pack. Here, I could just take another Black Green Land here. It seems fine. I mean, I've got, I'm going to have plenty of playables. I'm not quite there yet. I don't really want to hate any of these cards. And uh, I think just making my mana a lot more playable. I mean, you don't have to have fetches to have a playable mana base. If you get enough duels, it works out just fine. So I think taking another one of those is worth it. And here we have some more duels, but they don't help me. Blue, red, and blue, black. Death Greater's Champion does, though. This is a good card. 2 1 backup double strike. It's just a beater. So let's take that. Pass a bunch of like combo y cards Doomsday, Brainstorm, Sensei's Top, Sahili, some artifact stuff going the other way. I don't know who's doing all that. Possibly no one. In a six player draft, if the artifact stuff shows up late, sometimes no one plays it. Oh, Skull Clamp. I have Dragon's Rage, Sir Ginger, Magda. Deep Cavern Bat, Dark Confidant. Okay, I'm into Skull Clamp here, and I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to miss out on, like, Lava Dart or Turok or whatever. Sure. Skull Clamp works. And now we're playing... Currently, this is 18 lands plus uh, Shatter Skull. So yeah, I don't think anyone's casting Tinker, really. I'm going to take Goldspan. Goldspan is a nice one. Go to City of Traders, go to Dark Ritual. Now we're on 17 land plus Shatter Skull, so we're on 18 land. All right, this, this works out kind of nice. I don't need much else. I guess Deccan and Dragon is a card I could put in my deck. I don't want to hate Council's Judgment, I don't think, or Gorio's. I could hate Gorio's Vengeance. But I also think that, like, this Dragon is decent, especially in some of these matchups as a sideboard card. So I think I'll do that. And then this is currently... Like I said, 17 land plus Shatter Skull Smashing and Dark Ritual, which is about where I want to be, especially with Strip Mine and Caracas kind of counting as 
pseudo spells in a variety of ways. Yeah, this is a for not having <clears throat> any power. This is, I think, a pretty solid deck. All right, here, let's see, we have Persist, which works on Goldspan, Boneheart, Dracosaur, and Kays of Chaos Adventure. And I guess Broadside Bombardiers is fine, too. There's also Copperline Gorge. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to take that. I think having a, another piece of fixing is great. Here, I guess in terms of hate drafts, I'll hate a Triplicate Titan? Sure, I don't really know. I don't want Vault of Whispers, I don't think. Sensei's top's the best card here, so I guess I'll take that, even though I'm not really going to play it. And right now, I think we just have our deck. I mean, this is this is the, num the number of cards I want to play, and there's nothing in my sideboard except Decadent Dragon that I'm really going to miss. I mean, there's also a Toxic Deluge, but I don't think it's that good. I don't actually think I'm going to play the Besaidu, which is funny, because I think with Bayou, Copperline Gorge, Overgrown Tomb, if I put one forest in, that's four sources for Minskin Boo plus Treasure off Magda. That That is sufficient. And I guess Treasure off Bankbuster. <laughs> uh, that that I think is sufficient. And the one forest is also so I can get it with Caves of Chaos Adventure. I don't really want... I want the one forest specifically to search it up. I don't want to replace Besaidu with it. Here, I might just take Turok. I think... Even if I don't main deck it, it's a really good sideboard card against White Weenie, and it's a really good combo with Dark Ritual. Turn 2 Dark Ritual Turok is a pretty nice play. And it, I can Skull Clamp it, so maybe I'll cut something for Turok. I don't really know what. My my deck is looking pretty good here. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll take Nature's Lore. Someone will get a last pick Tinker, but you know that when it shows up in pack 3, that can be how it be sometimes. I kind of feel, and I have the triplicate titan too, and the sensei's top. Maybe I should have taken the tinker. <laughs> and here, I guess Seder Wayfinder over Candelabra. And decide what I want to cut for a Turok here, I think is just the last thing I got to decide. Obviously, you figure out how, many, how much mana I'm playing, but all right, let's get to deck building here. All right, so my mana is not as good as I would hope. I do have a Badlands, I have some green duels, but I also have Caracas, Strip Mine, and City of Traders as colorless lands, so really would have loved one more. I'm just gonna play 18 lands plus Shatter Skull Smashing with Strip Mine and Smashing, and even Caracas all as like semi spells. I think that's gonna work out. I ended up cutting Liliana and Turok as well, just trying to minimize the number of double black cards. And, um,. Uh, Got a pretty nice curve here. If I draw Dark Ritual, it's great. Did cut the forests for Minskin Boo, so now I just have the three duels plus the treasures. I think that's also all right. And then I have Skull Clamp with a decent amount of creatures. So pretty good deck overall, though. I definitely have the worst deck on my team, which is which is awesome. It's always nice to go to deck building and realize your teammates have better decks. BK's got Mana Crypt and Ancestral with Days Memory Lapse Remand Counterspell. Love it. True Name, Spell Queller, Brazen Borrower, Subtlety, some Land Cyclers, Teferi. Really good blue-white control deck here. And then Max got a double Mox deck. Did take the Thoughtseize after Anton took Shieldred, but ended up with a Reanimate, Shallow Grave, Goryeo's Vengeance Flash deck with Torsten, Itali, Gristlebrand, Emrakul. Frantic Surge, Collective Brutality, Jace. This deck looks excellent. So, and a Mystical Tutor too. So I'm, I'm hoping my teammates will carry me. But I like my deck and uh, ready to go battle. All right, time for round one: battle against Anton, who's on uh, Shieldred. Hope he draws Shieldred this game. Actually, no red mana here. But I mean, turn one, Concealing Curtains. Turn two, Surge Ginger with two nice lands in hand is already a pretty nice start. If I draw a red source, I've got a. Robber of the Rich, ready to roll. And, I mean, I guess I would would be pretty happy if I drew just a mountain this turn. Copperline Gorge would be even nicer. But uh, even if I don't, having Sir Ginger to play and then having Strip Mine is pretty nice. Uh, Black Lotus is also pretty nice, huh? Hope this is uh, something I can bounce with Caracas. Three red. Interesting. Turn one Dac Faden? Okay. It's actually not going to work out that badly. Sir Ginger is really good against Dak Vaden. It gets haste and hexproof, so I go whack Dak, and the Dak can't even steal Sir Ginger because if Dak's in play, Sir Ginger's got hexproof. It's it's pretty nice. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Letting my teammate uh, 
teammates know that, you know, Lotus Alert, Lotus Alert, one of them's got a Lotus. Discards Team Vince and Scrubland. Okay, okay, okay. Um, hmm. I actually do think I play this and pay three life, even though I am playing Sir Ginger here. Because... This way, next turn, I can use either Caracas or Strip Mine along with still playing Robert of the Rich. So this just keeps my options open. I think it's pretty likely that I'm going to not cast Robert of the Rich next turn if I like flips the with the Concealing Curtains. But this just lets me have that as an option. And I think I'm going to play Shatter Skull as a land at some point here. Obviously, if my next two cards are Mountains, then I would have ended up not playing Shatter Skull if I waited. But... That seems pretty unlikely. And uh, I like where we're at here. All right, what do we got? Ponder after discarding Time Spiral and Sahili. Okay. I mean, this is a good combo deck from what I've seen. These are all good combo, like blue red, big spell combo stuff. Shieldred plus Time Spiral is a nice one. But uh, Lotusing out DAC, especially when I immediately attack it, is really not that bad for me so so far things look all right all right ponder and tap land so i think i'm gonna go roberto and attack this is just attacks right whenever it attacks uh yeah so this can attack and then this can attack deck faden robert into balance Ooh, that's a scary one and then I'm going to go strip mine and strip mine the Zagoth Triome. Just to make it even less likely that Anton can really get something going. And then next turn, uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip Concealing Curtains most likely. There's a balance that uh, that I could cast here if Robber attacks. But I suspect that one's not going to be something I'm into. <laughs> Sir Ginger, really good. I told you, when they have a Planeswalker, Sir Ginger just brings the beats it's the meal ender, that's for sure. And uh, I like how it looks here. Definitely going to keep Caracas in my deck, just knowing about the existence of Shieldred and a deck that clearly is playing it with Lotus and Time Spiral. The Scrubland and Zagoth Triumph already kind of give it away. So going to keep Caracas in. I think if I play against a matchup where they have no Legends to bounce and I don't care that much about protecting my own, I might switch that around. Mm. We both have four cards. Let's not play the Caracas yet. Let's just play a Swamp. And I guess I'll just flip this before attacking. All right, and that'll do for game one. All right, going into sideboard. I mean, I could see wanting Turok or like Liliana of the Veil against like combo elements. Those both just put some pressure on them, on their hand. Um, Decadent Dragon seems a little on the slow side. Hmm. Maybe I just put in Bloodthirsty Adversary. It's mostly just a 2-2 haste. Maybe I just put in Turok, and if I draw it with Dark Ritual, it's awesome. Otherwise, it's just like, no, you know, at that point, I'd rather just keep the dragon in. All right, I'm going to play it as is for the time being. All right, uh, on the draw here, I'm going to mulligan this hand. Lightning Bolt doesn't look particularly great. Oh, this hand's much better. And uh, that hand just looks kind of slow. I think I'll put back a Swamp here. I could put back Bonehard Dracosaur, but... I don't think the fourth land is going to be that necessary, especially since I need to draw a mountain to cast it anyway, and I have a bank buster to draw me extra cards. So this hand, this hand could use a dark ritual. I don't know even for what yet. Like, I guess if I draw another red source, I could turn three a Dracosaur, but this hand's just kind of slow. The, the biggest thing, honestly, this deck is missing. Number one is it doesn't have one mana discard like Duress, Thoughtseize, Inquisition, and number two, it doesn't have any good acceleration. All right, I'll just play my bad lands. I think Anton's not doesn't have any land destruction and I would much rather have bad lands in play than any other land if he like casts a time twister this turn or something. Elegant parlor. I don't care whether he pre into the top or bottom. I'm just going to see his hand in a second here cuz I'm going to slam deep cavern bats. All right, what do you got? What do you got for me? Possibly a stern scolding. No. Black Lotus, K Command, Dig Through Time, huh? Um, I mean, I guess I take K Command. 
Yeah, seems like the plan. All right, I'll pass now. And we left a card on top with the elegant parlor, which I don't love that. I guess he can go land Lotus, sack Lotus, go to six mana, and then play a six mana dig, exiling Lotus and preordain. But that's a pretty weak play. Like, you don't want to exile Lotus in your Time Twister deck. And casting a dig through time for six, honestly, I'd rather cycle a Zagoth Triumph than do that. And then my turn. Yeah, he's going to play the Lotus. Uh, I'm just going to play Broadside Bombardiers and attack for three, I guess. Oh, is playing... Honestly, I think I think it might be better to cast Expensive Taste here. My main concern with uh, Bombardiers is it's just a 2-2 haste at this point. I've got nothing to throw and nothing to throw at. So it doesn't really do much for me. He's probably going to cycle Zagoth Triumph. Oh, he's just going for the dig. All right, that's fair. Let's see how this goes. Okay, dig through time is on the stack and we'll see how this goes i i think just casting this and hoping to get something good sounds a little better than playing bombardiers i guess i could bombardier something for four next turn with the bank buster still not that impressive all right six cards in hand don't really know any of them but it did cost what did it cost you oh, it cost you a black lotus that's that's not nothing all right, there's a Zagoth Triumph lurking around somewhere. And then there goes the Shield Jet. All right. Let's go Expensive Taste. Though, actually, maybe I should have done it in response. I guess I couldn't hit a Force of Will or anything. I hit two lands. Well, that's disappointing. Um, and I can't even cast the Dragon here, so I guess I will cast the Bombardiers. Play Copperline Gorge. And... Because my Marsh Flats doesn't even get... It's funny, Marsh Flats doesn't even get a red source because I have the Badlands in play. Okay, if I get wheeled here, I guess... I guess I don't die. I go to... I take 14 plus Shieldred, I go to 2. Well, no, then I do die because of uh, my draw step. Next turn, I can swing for 3 down to 15... No, it should be on a 17 because about to gain three off Ponder. And then I guess I can play Decadent Dragon and just throw it at the Shieldred. That's probably better than throwing the Bonehorde Dracosaur, is my guess. Obviously, if I draw like a Caracas or something, that's really sick. But we'll see uh, what else comes down here. All right. So Ponder resolves. This time, I guess I will check just to see. Sheldock Isle, no shuffle. All right. Don't love all that. And then, what do we got? Dak Faden. Okay. So I guess you can plus stack on me and make me lose life. Or, in this case, you're going to plus stack on yourself. Okay. And then I get attacked for four, I'm sure. All right. Well, I get to kill Shieldred next turn, and we're still still in it. Oh, that's, that's a nice one, too. Hmm. I guess I'd rather have the initiative, so let's go. I don't even want to play Anton Swamp. I think I'd rather play mine. Play Caves of Chaos Adventurer. Get the initiative. I guess I'll get a mountain here. And then attack Dak Faden down to one and throw Caves of Chaos Adventure at the Shieldred. For six and pass the turn. Don't like this position, but it's really going to depend on what's under Shell Dock. I mean, Anton sees a lot of cards from this position. It's got four in hand, can see two more with Dak, has one under Shell Dock. Obviously, there's a lot that can happen that I wouldn't like, but uh, we'll see. We'll see where we end up here. Okay, Dak, discard Memory Jar and Zagoth Triumph. So yeah, if Shieldred didn't die, I would have. <laughs> Steam Vents, paying the life. And you're going to get like Sheldock, a Time Spiral, float a bunch of mana. That's probably me losing if that's the case. Oh, Balance. Okay. 
Oh, and that gets you shielded back with a uh, with that K command, huh? Six. So I guess Anton sacks a land. I sack both my creatures. I discard this mountain in hand. Okay. And that's still not even the shell dock aisle, unfortunately. <laughs> this is though. All right. What do we got? <laughs> Feywild Caretaker to steal the initiative. Oh, okay. And then, well, I guess that uses some amount of action here. Thieving Skydiver, that's good to know about. All right, let's take my turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's my Caracas, huh? Oh. Uh, Honestly, I think I just, I'm at 15, I think I just slam Bonehor Dracosaur and uh, leave up Krakus and go from there. Mm. Okay, I don't like the mana leak there because Bonehor Dracosaur was a way I could come back here. I really don't think I'm, I've got a good shot from here. So the fairy dragon becomes a 3-3. Three, three. I'm getting hit for 6 down to 9. K command still in hand. Mm -hmm. I'm not I don't have a good way to get the initiative back. Yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty done here. Narset, okay. All right. That'll that'll do it. All right. On to game 3. And I don't want Toxic Deluge. Do I want Turok? <laughs> Thalia actually would be good. I just don't really have a way to, to fix the mana for that. Mm. Don't really think I want Liliana. I'll keep Fire Covenant in. I think that one still has some good applications. Do I want Bloodthirsty Adversary? I mean, Skull Clamp is also kind of weak here. I don't really want to be Skull Clamping against all that stuff, though I guess it's good against Balance. I think I just put rather have bloodthirsty adversary. All right, let's do it. All right, I am on the play. Yeah, I mean, I got to keep this hand. No lotus, please. That's what we're hoping. I'm hoping to see a lotus when I attack with robber of the rich on turn two. That's what I'm hoping. Turn one curtains. Turn two robber attack. Flip lotus. Set lotus to flip uh, or to flip concealing curtains. That would be that would be such a beating. This hand is kind of hoping to draw really just any spells. Like it's got, it can cast everything but Minskin Boo with this opening hand. And uh, Anton Mold to six here, trying to trying to get under Robber. It's okay, I've got, I've got the one drop so I can still get my hand low enough. Hoping not to see a Lotus this turn or a Sheldock Isle. <laughs> Though really, I just don't want to see a Lotus. I don't really care about the rest. Sheldock would still be fine. I hate it when they think for a while on turn one because that just means that Lotus is coming. But I guess Lotus into Narset is not the end of the world. Um, let's go Robber of the Rich. Attack Narset down to one. Robber a Swamp. And then, I mean, a balance would still be pretty annoying here. It's got Witch Talisman. Is that the red white? Yeah. But next turn, if he doesn't have balance this instant, I can flip the concealing curtains, which I will like to do. I need to stop drawing lands, though. Come on. Uh, I'm not even going to get to Robber here. Really sad. All right. Leovold and Memory Jar. Um, you can cast them both. How much do I care about Leovold versus how much... I care about my memory jar. I'm going to take one of them. I think I'll just take the Leovold. The memory jar is coming out a lot later. And attack Narset. All right. Pass the turn. Anton's got two new cards, but hopefully nothing to play this turn. It's kind of sick, too, because drawing a... Mountains and swamps means I can't even, I can't even cast, uh, 
I guess I will cast this though. I can't even cast shield, shield or uh, Minsk and Boo if I draw it. But all right, bloodthirsty adversary, and I'm just gonna bash with all these. Hopefully, what did we draw here that you can cast? Getting a spell out of the hand here. Okay, command robber getting back Leopold. Well, that was a pretty good draw. Okay, pass. Leopold doesn't stop the concealing curtains here, but need to draw a spell in order to to end up in a good spot here. Hmm. I mean, Bonehorn Dracosaur, Caves of Chaos Adventure, anything like that would be pretty solid. All right, Memory Jar has hit the table, sure. All right, um, action. I mean, it's not nothing, I guess. Hit for five down to seven. Do I jar or do I bolt in response to jar? I guess I don't really need to. I can just bolt when the jar comes back or like when it comes back from the jar hand. I don't have that many instants that I could actually play. I'm not gonna get much out of this memory jar. <clears throat> As it turns out, discarding jar would have been nice because you drew K command to get back to Leovold, but you know, so it goes. It doesn't. You don't really get much out of playing Leovold before Jar. I think it's mostly just like crack Jar and hope to just play a couple things from there. But like I said, we'll 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 see what happens. What do I have to play at instant speed? Do I have anything? I have Fire Covenant. Oh, Decadent Dragon would actually be a nice draw. I think that's the one I think I took out. Hold on, didn't I take that out for? Oh no, what did I what did I take back out? Oh, I took Skull Clamp out. Yeah. All right. Decadent Dragon? Nope, I didn't draw anything. All right. Well, these all go to the graveyard. At least these aren't even among my best spells. So, in a sense, my deck's gotten better. <laughs> let's see what uh, let's see what gets played here. One of my green lands, I suppose, is gone. These are all my ones and twos. I'm hoping not to see Shieldred. Balance would be pretty annoying. It looks like we're getting balanced here. Wow, I'm going to lose a land too. Undeblue. <laughs> All right. I mean, that doesn't matter too much, but we just kind of. All right. And then lose both my creatures. So Jar into Balance was pretty annoying. No Shieldred hitting the board. Hopefully, not much else gets played this turn. A Skydiver? Sure. All right. Yeah, I mean, that was bad for me, but not the end of the world. I'll wait on the Bolt, I guess. See what I draw. Oh, that was a great draw. Goldspan Dragon. Don't have Mana Leak, please. Oh, nice. All right, and now if Anton blocks, then that's fine. And if he doesn't, I just get to Bolt him to death. All right, well, he blocked. That's fine. I'll... I don't think using Bolt to deal one extra damage mattered here. I'd rather just have Bolt up and hope that, uh, A, I can just attack for lethal next turn with the Bolt. He doesn't know that Bolt's coming. B, uh, if he plays something I want to Bolt, I get the opportunity to do that. Okay. See, like like here, I think Bolting the, uh, the bird could be pretty big. Unfortunately, can't Bolt the Feywild Caretaker. Fire Covenant? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I do bolt the bird. I really wanted to draw a spell that turn. This is going to be such a close game. All right, hit for four. You're at three. I'll go get one of my very few lands left. Let's see what wins here. Death Greeters Champion, Decadent Dragon, Keys of Chaos Adventure, Bombardiers, Minsk and Boo, Shatter Skull Smashing, Unearth. Yeah, I have a, I have a lot of outs now. Um, I'll still just play the Overgrown Tomb. That's fine. 
I mean, I am still going to face down a Leovold here, but as long as he doesn't have Leovold plus a Time Spiral, I guess I'm okay. If I can hit Caves of Chaos Adventure to take back the initiative... I mean, I guess I'm glad I bolted last turn because uh, now Leovold's in play, so the bolt would have drawn him a card. I guess he could forge onto Leovold here. Probably is a decent play to make. But I guess a deal three would just presumably go at Anton's face. So fire, uh, I guess scry two if you've got a lot of I win cards also works if you're not trying to kill me with trap. All right, well, I basically have this turn to draw. Let's see. Two on the bottom? Okay, okay. Maybe I have one more turn. Maybe maybe not just this. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Headliner Scarlet, thank you very much. Uh, I guess you get to draw a card, but it's going to be hard to, to kill both of these things, is my guess. And... I'm going to get to slam with these two, and nothing can block. You need two removal spells in order to stop these. Did we get there? This would be a headliner draw, if, if so. <laughs> mm, it's sounding okay. So is it going to be, if, if I win this game, the two games I won were the games where he played Lotus Planeswalker on turn one, <laughs> which is just kind of funny. All right, let's uh, send with the squad. And hopefully that does the trick. Not a lot you can do about this is my is my guess. I mean, barring having two removal spells or something. Drown in the lock. Okay. And then boom, that, that was game ending. Alright. One and oh. Big win there. Alright. Uh I would like to play first. And yeah, we'll keep this hand. <laughs> Talisker's on like Territorial Kavu, Aggro, uh, White Plume Adventure, Containment Priest, that sort of thing. I'm just going to lead on Copperline Gorge. If Talisker plays a one, then I'm going to go Bolt on it. If not, I'll just drop a Sir Ginger on turn two here. Yeah, I think I think I can wait on the Strip Mine. We'll see. Maybe he'll go dual Territorial Kavu, and I can Strip Mine the... <laughs> the duel that would be so good if he goes like volcanic into territorial kavu is a 2-2 and you just strip mine the volcanic okay once upon a time is the first spell here what do i want to draw here city of traders would be an awesome draw uh dark ritual would actually be the best draw hit moloch okay moloch's pretty good into planes interesting Unearth, huh? Um, send. And I think I'm just going to play an Overgrown Tomb tapped here because I don't think I need, need to strip mine yet. I'm not doing anything. And if this is a Moloch, oh, General Ferris Roquefort. All right, well, let's cycle the Unearth because I don't think I'm doing anything with it. City of Traders in Deep Cavern Bad. Interesting. Um, let's go Deep Cavern Bat. I want to play this Caves of Chaos Adventure here, but I want to try to make it so this Moloch doesn't get me too badly. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think I take Witherbloom Command or Moloch, and then strip mine the red black land I could also just take smuggler's copter and strip mine the red black land no bolt deals with smuggler's copter pretty well let's take witherbloom or moloch um, I guess moloch is more annoying yeah I don't know. It's really hard to decide. It's going to be one of those two. He's going to get to play a Kosali Pride Mage and make a 4-4 next turn, I think. Alternatively, I could strip the green and it strands all these cards. 
Okay, let's do that. And I think take Wither, take Moloch and then Witherbloom kills that. Or I take Witherbloom and Moloch tries to kill it. I think I'll take Witherbloom. Strip mine the Restless Prairie. Hit with a 3 1. And it, if Talisker blocks, I guess I'll be pretty happy. So, and I'm hoping that Talisker doesn't draw a green source here. That's that's basically the main thing I'm hoping for. All right, no green source. <laughs> Never fails. All right. Okay, so he gets a 4 4. I mean, the game's not over, but this is pretty annoying. Because now he gets to, now the general Ferris is just going to go off. Could have stripped the red, but nope. Strip the strip the green. I mean, realistically, had I had I drawn stripped the blood crypt, his top card would have been mountain anyway. So yeah, you can't attack there. Oh, fire covenant. Yeah, thanks. I'll I'll, I'll be I'll, I'm interested in that one. That was a good draw. That was indeed a good draw. Now I slam. <laughs> There's the red, funny. All right, Smuggler's Copter into Kwasali Pride Mage. Sure, that's okay. Let's draw two mana spell. <laughs> I mean, I don't really think I do better, have a reason not to attack with Sir Ginger here. So let's go ahead and do that. And Talisker has Reprieve as his last card here. Okay. Oh, we're going to trade off. I like it. Okay. This leaves me in pretty good shape. Oh, we drew a spell, though. All right. Well, let's play Caves of Chaos Adventure. Take a mountain. Play the mountain. Ship the turn. I'll take a hit from Kwasali Pride Mage if it attacks. Mm. Go to 13, Talisker gets to go. Get a land and hope, hope his top card wasn't a uh, white plume, but Deep Cavern Bat's pretty good at, at finding, uh, finding the initiative. Let's see what Talisker's got. That Fire Covenant was a sick draw, I gotta admit that. All right, Swamp, and then what is this? Oh, Luris. Mm, that makes sense why the Smuggler's Copter got traded off, I suppose. Oh, we're going to Maw Lock here and get the Deep Cavern Bat. All right. Let's just draw something good, huh? Uh, a little late on that one. Attack with the Case of Chaos Adventure. <laughs> Shatter Skull Smashing. Okay, that was a good one. Now he's going to block. And let's just go scry two. Bottom. I'll put Minsk and Boo on top. Yeah, I think that one's okay. And then cast Shatter Skull Smashing on those two. Here, hold on. I'll play my land first. Two and two. Okay. Boom. Whew. All right. And so now... I've got the initiative. Next turn, I'm going to get go into Stash, but also next turn, I'm going to get to Minsk and Boo. Hex Drinker. Okay, that's pretty good. That remains, remains a strong one. All right, so let's just draw, go into Stash. Mm -hmm. Minsk and Boo. And then attack for four here. Talisker kind of has to take it. And then next turn, he can attack back. He needs to have an answer to Boo. He needs to attack Minsk and Boo to kill it. And he needs an answer, a way to take initiative. He probably has all of them. But, okay, Minsk and Boo's down. 
And Flame Tongue Kava. Okay, so he doesn't take initiative, but still a really close game. Any spell for me is pretty strong here. Uh, and so I get a 4 1 here. All right. Headliner Scarlet. Oh, Death Greeter's Champion. Um, yeah, so I'll dash it. And I guess I just dash the counter on there. It doesn't get haste, but he has to block the Death Greeter Champion with Flame Tongue. So I just get to eat it. And then on my turn, I now have the initiative. So I'm going to Throne of the Dead 3. And I have two lethal threats. And one of those threats has Menace. I think I'm in pretty great shape here. But <laughs> obviously, we'll see. This was a, quite the grind. Fire Covenant and Shatter Skull Smashing definitely showed up at the right times here. Talisker actually could be at two higher life. The turn I revealed Smashing or flipped it to Chaos Chaos Adventure, I think he's supposed to double block the adventure with Moloch and Luris and take two less trample because I was already going to cast Shatter Skull Smashing anyway. All it does is cost me a little bit of mana, but maybe he valued me paying the mana. I don't know. All right, what is this? Borth Eorlingus for three. Wow, Okay. And he's going to attack with just one thing. Okay. I'll take it. He can have the initiative, I guess. And then next turn, I can Death Greeter's Champion. And I get to eat a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Let's see. Let's draw. Uh, pay this with dash. And hit on there. And attack with this, and I mean, it's going to seven. Oh, actually, no, I actually needed to, to block there. Yeah, that didn't work out. Okay. That, that just clicked way too fast there. All right, and past the turn. Wow, so he actually had a way out of it, because then I get trapped, and then I get hit by a thing. So had I chumped... I would have gotten to put one of my cards into play and then still maybe die to, to Hex Drinker next turn, but there was just no reason to do that. Yeah, that was me just beefing it. I just clicked right through it. Oof, bad call. All right, here I definitely want Toxic Deluge, and that kind of makes me want Bloodthirsty Adversary a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Sir Ginger looks... Uh, Reckoner Bankbuster like, looks a little bit too slow, though it's actually really good with Deluge. Maybe... I take out Sir Ginger, I put in Deluge, and I put in Liliana. And I think at that point, maybe... No, I don't want to cut Dragon's Rage, I don't think. Um, I could also cut Robber of the Rich, and then just go, yeah, a little bit higher on the curve here. All right, let's not try to beef it at the finish line here. Oh, all right, I like this hand. Turn on Dragon's Rage, turn two maybe just clamp and then turn three I can like ritual a bone horde dracosaur something like that I mean I guess it'll depend what we draw here so if I block they trade it's hex drinker and two tokens against the top one of the creatures out of the top ten yeah I mean obviously it's closer but I just kind of there was no reason to not block there all I was doing was trading for an additional thing Okay, let's do a draw. I think I am going to clamp this thing up. This seems like a good turn to use it, and my Dragon's Rage isn't going to be a 3-3 anytime soon here. So this seems like the plan. All right, send. Skull Clamp. Oh, I'll keep that one on top. Yeah, Fire Covenant is one of the cards I do want. And let's just clamp this up and draw two. Hmm. Deep Cavern Vat is a possibility, but I didn't see that much. He has Maelstrom Pulse in his deck. I guess there's not that much that answers Bonehorn Dracosaur. Oh, Kosali Pride Mage, sure. I got my card out of my Skull Clamp. I'm not too worried. I'm just going to go for it here. My other option would be to like cast Decadent Dragon and then clamp it. But 
if he has a cheaper removal spell, he can just kill the clamp and then and then kill it. This basically says you have one turn to kill my five five flying first strike, or uh, I am in great shape. Okay, that is not killing it. So it looks like looks like we're gonna win this game. I would say. Exiled Swamp and Unearth. Oh, it's not actually a bad one. Um, I definitely want to play the Swamp. I think I want a Deep Cavern Bat to see what Talisker's got. Mind Twist, Flame Tongue Kabu, Rampaging Raptor, Reprieve. Um, honestly, don't care that much about Mind Twist. I guess I just take the Flame Tongue Kabu. And then mm, I could unearth is it 19, attack with the Dracosaur. Don't care if he plays Rampaging Raptor. I mean, if I unearth and just play Bank Buster, like how much do I care if he mind twists me? I guess I just, I really don't. All right, unearth the Dragon's Rage Channeler. And cast Reckoner Bank Buster. Mm. Sure, I'll put Bob on top. That seems fine. Then pass the turn. And Mind Twist into this board is is acceptable. I mean, you might have to play Rampaging Raptor. And also grow the Sharp-Eyed Rookie. Okay, yeah, he's going to play the Raptor. And then now I'm just going to fire Covenant and basically end the game. Mm, take five, sure. The Bonehorde Draxor is going to exile Bob, plus something else, a Goldspan, huh? Oh, yeah, I can go Goldspan. Right, he's just dead. Attack, make a treasure, and then fire a Covenant. Two... Three, yeah. All right, we got game two. On the draw here, yeah, I especially don't want Robber on the draw. I, you know, the Kusali Pride Mage makes me wonder if Bank Buster's actually good. Maybe Bloodthirsty Adversary's better. Casting, recasting Covenant's okay. Bolt's good. Unearth can be good. It's still just a little bit sketchy. All right, I think I think I like where we're at. I don't think I want Turok. It's got a lot of non-white creatures, so. Okay. On the draw here, let, let's let's see a little little dark ritual. Wouldn't mind that one. Unearth, Headliner, Scarlet, Four Lands, and a Strip Mine. Mm. Talisker kept seven. Whew, I think I'm gonna mulligan that hand. Okay, this hand's a lot better. I'm going to keep, put a swamp back. This hand has outs to actually do some pretty good things. I would like to see Deluge or Covenant, because I always want to see that against, you know, the all-creature deck. Turn one Hex Drinker. Okay, that's annoying. Unearth. Um, I'm going to play the Mountain, because if I draw a Overgrown Tomb or Bayou next turn, I can play Bob and then play Minsk and Boo on three. Unearth isn't terrible here. I can trade off Bob maybe. Oh, Sunbay Canyon as your second land is a little bit awkward. Is he just going to pass with Reprieve up? No. He's going to play. Oh, can I get a strip mine? Can I get a strip mine, please? Oh, I got the strip mine. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and strip mine your forest. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what you get for playing Territorial Kavu. Is this Pump Hex Drinker no land attack? Oh my god, this is a bloodbath. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to bolt the Hex Drinker here. I'm, I'm just not going not gonna to risk it. I could play Bob, but like playing Bob and having him pump Hex Drinker to full does not sound like a good idea. So let's now go Headliner Scarlet. You can't block. Not that I care too much about that. But mostly I just want on upkeep, uh, reveal a land, reveal a land so I can start playing spells here. Hit mountain. Yeah, I'll get the mountain going, I think. This goes away. Let's 
just cast this and not dash it. Put the counter on Scarlet. Play Bob. Hit for eight. And this game is over. Ooh, 2 0. No power. Just a scrappy little black red deck that counts. And uh, that strip mine. I was really hoping to get to do that at some point. So it was pretty nice having that work out. All right, exile land and flip by you. Not even the bone horde. Nice. Mm, yeah, that'll do it. We're 2 0. On to round three. All right, well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is good for me. We crushed the draft. Uh, BK is 2-0. I'm 2-0. Max 1-1. Which leads us to the bad news is you don't get a round three with this deck. But you know what? Going 2-0 here was, I would say, above expectation. I think this deck is just solid. But with no power, no acceleration minus like a Dark Ritual and a City of Traitors. And not many ways to kind of like steal the initiative. I guess, uh, well, literally Caves of Chaos Adventure. You have like Broadside Bombardiers. Maybe Headliner Scarlet. Fire Covenant's a good card to like really get you far ahead. But overall, this was a pretty fair deck and kind of the, the draws lined up really nicely for me. I mean, it had some good cards. It had a Lightning Bolt, had Minsk and Boo. That Covenant is just an obscene card. <laughs> had the Strip Mine heard around the world, which killed a Territorial Kavu. That is just absurd. I've been wanting to do that for so long, so I'm really glad I got to do it. And uh, it had a pair of Dragons, which were good when they hit. So a solid deck, a solid record, and another dub. We take those. That'll do it for today. I appreciate you hanging out. Sometimes we're on Minsk and Boo Jun. Sometimes we're on Busted Academy. You know, the only way to find out, come back tomorrow because we're drafting again and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.